how would you work towards providing students better resources that aren't dependent on charging and policing? All right, we're going to start. Which way y'all want to start? Just do point this way or point that way. Which way you want to start? All right, we start from the left. All right, we're going to start with Congressman Daddy Davis. And we remember, it's one and done. One minute and you're through. I lived across the street from uh, Michelle Clark for exactly 20 years, right across the expressway. It has one of the best principals in the city of Chicago. It's a wonderful school, and we need more public resources for education, period. The federal government only provides money for education for special categories of activity. The main funder of public education is taxes on real estate and what your taxes are. So we need to generate as much money as we can to make sure that our schools have the money they need to operate and experience safety in the schools. What makes us feel safe as students is resources, is protection of our rights. We have a right to a fair and equitable education. When I was living in Austin, I would walk to school. I went to Joseph Lovett Elementary School. I would walk to school with my friends, walk home, and we felt safe. Every child in CPS should have ample opportunity to get a fair and equitable education. So when we talk about cost of money that students are paying, first of all, we need to make certain that we are investing in our students so that they are able to invest in themselves. My mission as Chicago Treasurer has been to close the wealth gap that exists between the haves and the have-nots in our city. Because so many people I know on the south and west sides of Chicago pay over $1,500 a month in rent while a bank denied them loans to purchase their own home. That's something that needs to be changed. So clearly, it's a, that's a very good question. Um, one, I'd like to point out that my church that I go to, I love y'all too, I love y'all. Um, it's a shame. It's a, it's, a, it's a shame that in 2024 we have more nurses, more police officers, clocking hours in the schools than nurses. My wife is a medical professional. She's a gynecolo gynecologic surgeon at Blood Hospital here in Chicago. I hope many of y'all will be planning to go into the field of medicine. Um, obviously, I'll be fighting for resources on day one. As a member of Congress, I have the relationship to do that. And again, I'll point back to the fact that um, as you look at the folks up here in my personal life. I have an organization that have already been raising money and resources for folks um, in Chicago Public Schools. So obviously I'll bring more resources back as your next member of Congress. Again, someone told me just a couple of weeks ago that because of my age, me and Keenan actually said that too, they said that we should do something else with our time other than run for Congress. It, we're exactly what you need to have in Washington to re represent your interests and make sure that your, that your um, tax dollars are benefiting you. Time. Um, so, as I told y'all, I'm a survivor of gun violence um, in our community. And the things that keep us safe were not the police coming after the shootings occurred or things that were happening in the school. That's a reaction to the problem. The community has already stepped forward, and especially young black people in the city of Chicago have stepped forward and told the city what we need with Good Kids, Bad City, and the Peace Book, and passing the Peace Book. So we, even before running for office, I was working alongside Good Kids, Bad City to employ young people, right, because you can't make policy about us without us, so young people have to be at the table when we're talking about um, how we restructure and rechange these institutions. I think there's far too many, were far too many police officers in school and not enough counselors and nurses. As a survivor of gun violence, what I can guarantee you is I'm going to stand shoulder to shoulder with y'all to A, fight for the peace book, and B, hold the police accountable when they harm our young people, period. All right. 